Uh, we're exasperated that the hearing has been cancelled uh, once again uh, at Mr Amaral's request. This is the fourth time that this has happened when we've travelled to Portugal. The legal case has been running now for over five years and we want to get justice for Madeline. Today is a blatant and cynical attempt to wear us down and it's Madeline who's suffering. Um, we're not going to give up, we're going to keep going. Thank you. Do you think this was a strategy? Can I, can I just add, I mean, I think we need to make it clear to people we, we took on this case because of the pain and distress that Mr Antmel has brought to us and our children. And every time he postpones the case like this, it brings us more pain and distress. Every time we come here, we have to make arrangements for our children to be looked after. We have to book flights, we have to book hotels, we have to take time off work to come here. Now, Mr. Amrath handed that letter in apparently around 9 o'clock this morning. That letter could have been handed in before we left the country. And this has happened now about four times. As Jerry said, can this be seen as anything but blatant and cynical? We just want justice. This is not fair. You will Don't return? You, you will return? Yes. Do you think this was a strategy from the Solomon Road? Clearly. Yes. Do you think Madeline is alive? What we know for certain is there is no evidence that Madeline is dead. And until we she find deserves, out... She deserves that right to be found. We believe that Mr Amaral is trying to stop her, that human rights are being looked for and found. If it's happened to other children, it can happen to Madeline. What do you think he might be in pain too, Mr Amaral? Why? Yeah, because uh, 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 all, all the things he has he been arrested, he has children too. Mr. Amaral is not the victim in this. About the searches in trial uh, with Scotland Yard in the We're not commenting on the investigation. That's a job for the judicial police in Scotland Yard. Thank you. But do you still hope that uh, Madeline's going, going to be fine? Well, what, what is clear is that the searchers haven't found any evidence to show that Madeline has been seriously injured or is dead. So, as far as we're concerned, there's a good chance she's still alive and we have to keep searching for her. That's why we're here. What do you think about the results uh, of the searching of the British police last week in Portugal? Well, it's the same thing, you know, there have been multiple searches, there's no sign of Madeline. There is no evidence that she's been seriously harmed or dead, and that's the important thing. There's Either a missing way. child, and, and you know what, what is absolutely clear, and we want to, people can have their own opinions of us, but Madeline is completely innocent in all of this. This is what it's about, an innocent child who is missing. If Mr Amaral is watching this, what would you We're like not speaking to, to Mr Amaral. Thank you very much for your Thank patience. You.